this is the Aero Garden Bounty. This kick started my love of gardening. And this thing is really cool. This is the introduction to hydroponics, even though you don't realize it when you buy it. You just think that it's gonna be a really cool little gadget to have on your countertop to grow your herbs and tomatoes. You can even start them in here. And so when you get this, you're gonna get this little itty bitty bottle of food. And you're gonna get this little pot to put your seeds in. And then it has a label sticker on top so you can write what you're planting in here. And then this thing sits on top. It goes into the water bucket. And then you drop this little seed pot in there. The instructions for the Arrow Garden Bounty are really simple. They're really just like a starting point for people. They say to use two capfuls, uh, one capful at startup every two weeks. This is for the 12 pod one though. So it would be four capfuls at startup at the second feeding and then six capfuls every two weeks. So it's really cool because when you plug it in, it's got an air pump it built in it so it will help germinate your seeds but it'll also remind you when to feed it'll tell you like every two weeks or something um, to add food so let me plug it in so i'm going to click start a new garden uh it'll say set your clock it is 10 04. i'll just do 10 a.m and then the light will turn on. Then it's got options for herbs, lettuce, tomatoes, uh, peppers, flowers, and then custom. I usually go with tomatoes. And then it has a light cycle set already. It'll uh, tell, ask you when you want the light to go on and off but it already has 15 hours uh, of light cycle built in for tomatoes because that's what helps seeds uh, germinate and plants to grow. Then it'll tell you to add your water and the, the little food capsules, uh, you know, the capsules of it. Whole bunch of other instructions and then it'll start. So in here, the water is, it's got these little areas where the water can come through and keep these pods wet because seeds need a lot of moisture to germinate. So. I really love this thing. As the plants start growing, you're going to want to be moving this light up so that the plants continue to reach for the light. If you keep this light low, plants tend to stay low. They get very bushy and you do want them to get taller and bigger. So that's the air garden bounty. I love it. So I'm going to move on to the watering portion of it because I think that this is really basic. It's uh, and as you get more into hydroponics, you're gonna to wanna to upgrade your equipment and try some new tricks. So that's where these little tools come in. This is a conductivity pen, and this is a pH pen. So our water here at home Our water here at home is above seven on the pH pen, which is fine. But when you get more into the hydroponics fascination, you're going to want to adjust your pH of your water and different areas have different kinds of water. Um, quality so ours was really terrible here where I live and we use uh, we got a water filtration system put in and that's fine that's not gonna hurt anything and then as far as parts per million which is the mineral content in your water ours is at 170 it starts at 170 so when it comes to parts when this when you use this pen it comes to parts per million uh, you, you're going to want to start feeding your plants more and when you put nutrients into the water that number on the ppm meter is going to go up that's great it just it also depends on what you're putting in your water so with 
the Aero Gardens, it keeps it at a low uh, parts per million and it doesn't really play too much with pH. So when you start feeding your plant different things, you're gonna get into different nutrients getting mixed and then you have pH down, which will bring your pH level down. You typically don't go up unless you mess up bringing the pH down. So, Flora, the general, hydropro, the general Hydroponics Flora series has a feeding schedule on the back and it does, I feel like it does overfeed, but it's a good starting point again. And then when you start playing with the numbers on your meters, you'll get better at adjusting it. All right, I'm gonna start mixing the nutrients into the arrow garden bucket according to the instructions written on the bottle. And then I'm gonna measure it for, with the pH meter and the PPM meter. So if we do what Aero Garden wants us to do, we're gonna do one, two, oops, three, four. Four cap pools for this version, which is an iPod model. Uh, two cap pools, I put four in. You got one mistake. Then we're gonna mix it. All right, let's see what it comes out to on the pH meter. Seven point one parts per million. Eight hundred. That's really high for sprouting, for germinating seeds. They don't need that much, so that's just my experience with things I've read, but it's worked every time, so I'm not gonna knock it. So that's what you get if you do what Arrow Garden tells you to do for sprouting seeds. I'm gonna make a bucket of tomato nutrients, and these are for already established plants so I'm gonna follow the feeding schedule on the back of the general hydroponics line and then I'm gonna use the one for aggressive vegetative growth so there's the feeding schedule on the back of the bottle it's a really good starting point it's got different um, variations of the feeding schedule for things like seedlings and cuttings, general purpose, aggressive vegetative growth, which is the one I like to use a lot, transition to bloom if you're growing something for blooming, and then um, a more aggressive blooming and ripening schedule. So the first part of the series is this green bottle. We all have these laying around probably more than we want, and this is a good use for them. So we're gonna pour some of these into here, some of this green bottle into here. And the uh, feeding schedule I'm using is the aggressive vegetative growth. So it says three teaspoons of this green bottle, two of this purple, and one of the blooming. Because right now my plants are still growing. They're still in the vegetative stage of their growth. They're not mature enough to need this, so much of this pink bottle when they're gonna need this pink bottle more is when they uh, start ripening and getting fruit on them. Then I'm gonna change the feeding schedule to the transition to bloom and blooming and ripening. So for what I'm doing now, it's three, two, one. They say that it's per gallon, but when I fill up a five gallon bucket of water, um, if I was going to do the math and multiply that feeding schedule by five, it's really, uh, what they call hot, but it's, it's, it's just too powerful, I think. So I do, I follow the feeding schedule in the five gallon bucket as if it was one gallon of water. So three,
one. Give it a good stir. All right, let's check what we have for the conductivity pen, the PPM. Five eighty. That's really good. Could be a little bit higher, but that's really good for the stage that my tomatoes are in. And then let's check the pH. pH went down to about 7.06, so it went down a little bit. I want to bring it down a little bit more. This was the most confusing part of hydroponics for me, is getting that, is adjusting pH levels down. Uh, we want to get it between 6 and 7. We don't really want it higher than 7. 5.9 is uh, ideal. So we're going to take this little squeezy bottle, comes with it. One, I found that two to three for me works best. So I do three squirts into the big bucket, give it a stir. Now let's check the pH. It's going down, it's about 6.49. Six point four seven. That's really good. That's perfect. You also you'll see some other numbers on here, and this uh, is also really important. That's the temperature of your water. Um, hydroponic roots don't like water temperatures to be warm. They like them cold. The lowest you can be is sixty eight, and I think that the highest you could be is um, no higher than seventy nine. That could be. It's, it's it varies in that range, but you don't want warm water. So this is perfect feeding water for my tomatoes. That is how you feed your plants and adjust pH levels. Okay, let's see if these roots have improved since I planted them. We only had one sticking out last time. And now we have so much more, look. Look at those beautiful roots. This plant is developing really well. I'm so excited. These are the black crims. This is the sweeties. They also have a lot of root growth. Look at that. <laughs> this is the one that I took out of the arrow garden yesterday and transplanted it into a new bucket. So I'm not, oh, actually, look at that. Wow. Look at those little hairs. Look at this one, this side. Look at that. They know what to do. They're going looking for that water in there. Can you go, look at the, it's these bubbles. They love bubbles. Oh. 